As many as 43 leaders, including 11 women, have taken oath in the union cabinet expansion today. A and I shared a list of the names, which include Sarbananda Sonowal, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, Minakshi Lekhi, Kiran Rijiju, and Rajiv Chandra Shekhar, among others. National President of Lok Jan Shakti Party and Chirag Paswan's uncle Pashupati Kumar Paras has also taken the oath. IT Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad resigned from the Union Cabinet this evening ahead of Union Cabinet expansion. Resignation of 11 other Union ministers, including Prakash Javadekar, was accepted by President Ramnath Kovind. The other ministers include Harsh Vardhan, Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank, D V Sadananda Gowda. Thawar Chand Gehlot, Babul Supriyo, and Santosh Kumar Gangwar. Tremors were felt across West Bengal, Assam, and Meghalaya after a 5.2 magnitude earthquake struck 71 kilometers north of Tura in Meghalaya. The depth of the earthquake was 14 kilometers. The National Center for Seismology said there has been no report of any damage to property or casualties so far. With several countries easing their restrictions amid COVID-19, WHO's head of emergencies program Mike Ryan said, "We've made a very premature rush back to full normality, and I think we are going to pay a price for that." He also warned against COVID-19 variants. This comes after the UK announced that it has decided to ease social distancing and mask rules. President of Haiti Jovenel Moise has been shot dead inside his home by unidentified individuals. Interim Prime Minister Claude Joseph's office said in a statement, "The First Lady suffered bullet injuries." The statement added, "Joseph condemned the inhuman and barbaric act and called for calm, saying the police and the country's armed forces had taken control of the security situation." A picture of Argentina captain Lionel Messi playing with a bleeding ankle during his team's Copa America semi-final victory against Colombia has surfaced online. Messi injured his ankle after a tackle by Frank Fabra in the 55th minute. Playing like this, if this doesn't show Messi's love for Argentina and football, I don't know what else would. A fan commented. Italy defeated Spain 4-2 on penalties in Euro 2020 semi-final to reach Euro final for the fourth time. Italy had taken a 1-0 lead in regulation time after a goal from forward Federico Chiesa in the 60th minute. Spain equalized with a goal from Alvaro Morata in the 80th minute. Italy will face either England or Denmark in the finals. <laughs>